Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Kevin, and I am very excited and happy today. My buddy Steve and I are uh, in Townsend, Tennessee. We were staying in Pigeon Forge. Right now we're in Townsend, Tennessee. We just got on the Foothills Parkway, and uh, we are gonna go uh, ride through the Tail of the Dragon. For those of y'all who aren't familiar with that, it's Highway 129, and the last section of it, there's 318 curves and 11.7 miles. And, uh, we're going to go down there and go through that. Last time we were here, Steve uh, actually laid his bike down and he wants redemption on it. So we're going to let him take the slingshot as well. But as you can see, look at the view behind me. But uh, let's check out this slingshot. So this thing's pretty cool. You know, this is uh, the second, second or third time. I think the second time I've rented one of these. But uh, really cool. Three wheel. In the front looks like the Batmobile and it is a two-seater and uh, not the biggest leg room especially for someone like Steve who's 6'3 and 200 plus but uh, this thing's got a lot of kit here what is it what was it 200 220 horsepower so uh, pretty quick it takes off just like a regular motorcycle bad thing about this is we're in Tennessee Tennessee considers this a motorcycle, so we have to wear helmets, which uh, I don't see the point, but uh, we got to do it. Once we get into North Carolina, we can take these things off. But uh, I mean, look at this view. This is amazing. Really nice. Unfortunately, just like the Philippines, people that are here too. But uh, I guess there's no garbage can, but they could have taken it with them. But anyway, we're going to go down and uh, we'll turn the camera on once we get uh, to the end of the parkway here.
All right, well, as y'all saw, uh, that 300Z and I both came to play in the Dragon, but unfortunately we had that guy in that stupid little Chevy riding in front of us, and evidently he doesn't know road etiquette. When you're doing something like that, there's turnoffs all over the place, you know? And, uh, you know, when you got someone on your butt, you get out of the way, you pull over, you let them pass and let them have their fun, but, but that guy didn't do it. I mean, it was still a good time, but we're gonna catch that on the way back but i might let my, you know see if my buddy wants to drive it through there but anyway i've got some land in hayesville north carolina and uh without my knowledge or my consent my neighbor put a road in and it actually goes through my property and uh he wants me to sign some paperwork for uh to give right away to uh for that road evidently the road starts on my property so we're actually going to ride down there and check that out so uh Let's go see how that's going. Okay, so we just got to where my land is. And this is my land right here. None of this, this road is not here. This was uh, an old logging road, but no, no gravel or anything. You can see Steve walking around up there. Uh, this is hilarious. Uh, after doing the drag in there, I was asked if he wanted to ride in, you know, to drive in the rest of the way. <laughs> it was about an hour to get to here and uh, asked him if he wanted to drive and he was so nervous and scared his hands were shaking and he wouldn't drive in and then on top of that he wore his helmet you don't have to wear a helmet in north carolina i mean it's a law in tennessee but he still wore his still wore his helmet all the way here so poor guy so, in fact it was it was lunchtime and and he was too nervous to eat but uh man this thing's been a blast so, gotta watch out for this little gully here. I almost went in that, trying to come down. The slingshot couldn't make it up. Couldn't make this grade. You know, we were gonna go up to there and turn around, but it couldn't make it. So this is my land. This little corner is my land that comes around here. I'm just trying to figure out how much of my land was used for this. So I'm gonna go up. I had a building spot roped off and i wonder if he's been up there and removed my flags well, let's go check this out okay so this is my property that pink flag i don't know where the other marker is over there looks like joe is up here with the tractor clearing stuff out i guess that's all the stuff from the road hadn't been cleaned up yet but this is my property and it goes all the way. You can see the road over there to, uh, the over here. okay. Yeah. And you can see the pink markers on a tree over there. So that's the edge of my lot all the way down to the road. I got a little over an acre. So I don't think he went in too much of my property to the road. At first I was, I thought my home site was down there because there were a bunch of flags. A couple years ago, I came in and and uh, put flags down for the, the pad that I was going to do for the house. And I don't know if they've fallen over, you know, because that was years ago. That's probably 2017 or 18, somewhere around there. But anyway, here's my land. Cool little town and everything. Hayesville, North Carolina. But... Uh, you know, I'll probably sell it, sell it one day. It's starting to boom, but everything tailed off because of interest rates. But anyway, I just wanted to come up and see how much of my land is taken from, uh, you know, for that road. But looks okay. And this road is already here. This is an old logging road to so where Steve is. And then it meets that, that road right there. That's on my property. In fact, that's where I thought he was going to come up with the road. That's where my driveway was going to be. But anyway, well, now we go see my neighbor and give him the paperwork. All right, guys, I got to tell you, I'm going to miss this 
you know, I'm ready to come back to the Philippines, but this part of uh, Tennessee and North Carolina, we're in North Carolina right now, we're coming up on Cherokee, but uh, that's the Nantahala. We're about to go into the Nantahala uh, Forest and Gorge, and you can see the river behind me. I believe that's the uh, Pigeon. What is that, the Little Pigeon River behind us? I think so. But, I mean, this is just beautiful. This is what we're gonna ride next to all the way back. But uh, we're headed back to Pigeon Forge. Let's go do that.